Hello everyone, um, I'm on the floor today. I'm going to attempt to do a Bob Ross painting situation. So the Bob Ross video will be somewhere on the screen guiding me on what to do. I'm using acrylic colours and not, I think, oil is what he uses normally. So it's definitely going to look different. And I just literally picked the first one I could find on YouTube. I'll leave the link below if any of you want to try that as well. So um, I think we're just going to try boy oh boy let's go so let's start out with okay, a little, got some like... brush, a little tiny one take a little bit of the indian yellow just a very small amount on the two inch brush load a little color on the brush and let's go right up here maybe we'll have a beautiful little sky that's just full of warm colors that as i say sort of makes you feel good when you look at it so you're making little x's how's little he doing the cross cross this sort of stresses me canvas, out like so Oh boy, hold on. Why is he so fast? Maybe we'll have a little water so here. I love water. This is looking it's way so darker than his. And it's very easy to that paint this technique. Color? But and we'll reflect a little of that color right down into the water. Um, and then... Okay. And then, I'll tell you what, without cleaning the brush, let's just go into a little bit of the, of the yellow ochre. Oh, he's Once got again, like some yellow in We do not need a great hand. deal of paint here. Just, oh, but that's just darker. a little paint. How is he? Right above the yellow. Oh no, I used the wrong colours. Still making oh boy. Oh no, because I used yellow ochre from the start. Oh boy, I made a mistake. I'm trying to brighten this like up. we we'll laid in a little bit of the yellow ochre. There, yellow ochre is sort of a nice gold colour. It's beautiful. Is that the brightness? Beautiful little colour. And we'll reflect a little of that into our water. Okay, let's just pretend there. that's correct. Hmm. Shoot. Time to get crazy. Time to get crazy. Let's go. Let's pretend right that's correct. Okay, now he's got red. And still, going on. we haven't washed the brush. Just a little bit of the bright red. And right up here. He's so fast, but he had the colours ready and I did not. Cross strokes. Okay, let's get we'll some. A little bit of that. That's a really, really dark red. Color. Just, baby. It just that's makes you really feel dark good red. when you look at it. Makes you happy. You almost boy, can't boy. it. Just, just sort of warms what? up. Yeah, I really day. have not. This looks so bad. This is nothing in comparison fire, to so what I used all to do. It's just a nice pinkish, reddish glow up here in the sky. That's all we're looking for today. And while I have that on the brush, we'll just add a little of that down here too. In the water, we're just going to reflect okay, the same basic just, colors um, that we have in our sky. Something about like that. There. Shit. Right, we need the tiny bit of yeah. like a red down here. Still haven't washed the brush. I look, I look for this is too bright. Easy. I'm not doing well, kids. I'm as not as doing laziness. well. Then right, now he's putting some like we'll dark take a little purple bit of in this. Halo blue and alizarin crimson, mix them together right on the brush. You can tell I have not painted in a while because it's all dried up. And with that color, it's sort of a lavender <sighs> color. We'll just, we'll just we're using like a mix of the sky. Blue and purple. That's going to be so dark. Halo blue okay. and alizarin so crimson. Lovely. And you can That's you can take paint. this to the blue side or the red side. Just sort of depends on your mood and how you feel. It's strictly and completely up to you. Okay, maybe, I'll just do like a little bit like maybe up I'll here. Tell you what, look here. Just okay, we're doing a happy little cloud, kids. It's there time for is. the happy little cloud. There he is. Oh, hold on. Little cloud. Little cloud. Oh, big cloud. So you can just let it go. Let your imagination take you wherever you want to go. But all we're doing is just tapping in some basic little shapes here. Maybe we'll put one on the other side. We don't want him left out. We'll just come down here and fill in the whole bottom of this. Once again, all we're doing here is just reflecting the colors from the sky into the water. There we are. Let's just pretend that's what right. it looked like on his. Now you have to make your I mean, first that don't look decision. too Where's far off. It might be Maybe fine. Maybe in our world? Yep, it does now. Okay. Our mountain lives right there. I don't have pressure. a scrape thing, just so I'm just... Push the paint right into the fabric, right into the fabric. This is a chance to really get tough. Take out all your frustrations and hostilities and whatever. Okay, he's got another light. This technique is so here. fantastic because it allows you individuality. We use no patterns, no tracings. And we just, we just want to show you a technique and turn you loose on the world. Touch. Let's get that. No pressure. Okay. And just follow right down the mountain there. But no pressure. Absolutely no pressure. We can begin putting in the indication. That's not too bad. I can deal with that. Tons of little shadows in there. That's um. Add just probably a touch more not. Blue the color just so it shows up a little better and you can the see. The worst it. I've ever done. There. This also not the best. There. He's putting more put mountains on there. Little range of mountains right here. Just drop them in same way. 
Oh, girl. And watch how it pushes oh, the first ring back. Damn it. That's okay. simple. Just put them mm. in. Same thing. Exact way as we did the others. Scrape off the Oh, God, you can't see that. Hold on. Out. If I add more black, it might work. There we go. God, this is horrible. Something about like that. This is horrible. Right, let's get the lights in there. Mm -hmm. You gotta make those little noises or just to the foothills can be made just by doing something as simple as this. Just tapping downward. Just tapping downward. Oh, we didn't there. go that far. That's all there is to it. This is stressful. Gentle. This is not relaxing. I'm gonna take a little sap green, a little yellow. Just tap the brush He's the got some green, God damn it. And as things get closer it's to like us, right we begin seeing a little color. Some... So we can just, oh using the same old dirty brush, just add a little yellow mm -hmm. to it, some sap green. Absolutely. I mean... Right in and just act like you're trying sure. to come on right in the canvas. Absolutely. Think out really all your absolutely. hostilities here. Just absolutely. really get tough with it. And let's have in our world some happy little evergreen trees. Just use the corner of the brush, and as you work down the tree, push harder and harder, bending the bristles. Down here, ooh, we're really getting tough. We're just bending it all the way down to the furrow. What brush would... Tough. I don't think he'd be disappointed. Sure, I think boss. he'd just be confused as to what the hell am I up to. Personally, I enjoy the, the freedom that comes with not having a pattern. Because you can literally, as I mentioned earlier, you can learn to compose and create your paintings as you go. One of the most fantastic things about this whole technique is the fact that we don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Right. Look at that sun's playing through there. And this is a some yellow, green. some green. A little yellow ochre here and there, a little Indian yellow. Put that in there. Occasionally, decide where, you, where your trunk lives in the tree. Just touch. Now, we're not going to see the entire trunk. Okay, green let's take a little, trees. little sap green and a little yellow, mm -hmm. make a dark green here. And let's just begin darker, darker, darker. Right, his green looks green. so nice, and mine looks like garbage. Nice <laughs> in there, so when you're doing this painting, is so pretty. You mine is so ugly. Anyway, let's just try and fix good. a little. Something like that. Have a little, like, Sometimes there's a little bush or two that grows down that the edges. Off. You can drop them in. I think I've earned it now. Just sort of I've got paint in my hand. In. And from all of us here, I'd like to wish you a happy painting. <laughs> I mean, that's what we have. There you go. This is what we have. Let's take the tape off and see um, what's up. Hold on. Let me just fix that. I have an idea on how to fix it. And now I think I've ruined it now. Actually, no, this might actually work. I'm just pretending that I know what I'm doing. I should have left it. It was absolutely fine. Um, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I tried fixing it because I thought it was too dark down there. But that was too light. Oh, well, it's, we're going to have to deal with this. This is it. I'm going to get a close-up of the picture in a minute. And, um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Ta-da.